That night, Jimmy invited me to a local variety night where there was singing, music, and this little hot step. I want to test out myself next time I hit the dance floor. It seems everyone can sing in Ireland. Jimmy could knock out a tune, as could his daughter Geraldine. In fact, later that night, I went out to the pub with the Flannery clan, where there was even more singing. God bless the Irish. In Australia, closing time at a pub usually means a punch-up, not a sing-along. Speaking of singing, I'm next going to a place where they still practice shanos, or old-style singing. A place where Gaelic is still spoken. The barren Aran Islands. The islands of saints and scholars. A place where old traditions are still maintained. A place many believe provides a doorway to understanding earlier Irish culture. I'm fascinated by the farming methods on the islands. The rocky land is interlaced with stone walls, into which farmers bring sand and seaweed from the shore to create soil on the bare limestone rock. I interviewed Teresa Mullane, a local Shenos singer, asking her what she thinks is unique about the Aran Islands. The areas where people speak Irish are called the Gaeltacht, um, and plural Gaeltachti. And here on the Three Aran Islands we have the Gaeltacht, and then across the bay in Connemara it's also a Gaeltacht, and parts of Donegal, Kerry and Cork down south, and also in Waterford on the southeast coast. And we speak Irish most of the time, even though in the past 20 years or so it's becoming very bilingual, especially with the younger people. Uh, I feel they think now Irish is not that cool, but uh, they all know Irish really still when they're among themselves. It's, it's English they speak. So in those areas, we have great tradition and culture of stories and um, storytelling and uh, old time dancing, sh um, old style of dancing, and also the old style of singing, which we call Shano singing. And that's what I do mostly uh, in Gaelic through Irish. What I like living on the Iron Islands, especially here on Anishmore, is the peace and tranquility, the quietness. And I love to walk, especially in the evenings when the sun is setting, love to walk down by the shore or even up on the cliffs and look down at the beautiful sea and it's, it's just wonders and you feel you're in another world, a very quiet world and plenty of serenity and that. Well, the people who live here on the island, they could be very shy uh, towards visitors and strangers as we call them, um, until they get to know them and then they, they could be, you know, very funny with them and friendly. But, uh, we're also supposed to be kind of wild, wilder than people on the mainland. And maybe it's because we know each other so well. Uh, I know, for instance, everyone on the island now is about 11 miles long, but I know everyone, or most of them anyway. So we have our own kind of fun and sense of humor, maybe that people from the mainland wouldn't understand, really. But we are made out to be that bit wilder <laughs> than mainlanders. Shannos means old style of singing and it has come down from generation to generation and um, it's mostly in ornamentation, the emphasis really is on ornamentation and you know, grace notes and quavers and rolls and it's very hard kind of singing and, but when it's sung with feeling it's beautiful. Thank 
I took a bus tour with an extremely amusing guide. He said something that resonated with me. In the old days, we had poets travel the land, telling our stories. Now we have filmmakers. And like the poets of old, we must be nice to these filmmakers, or they won't tell nice stories about us. Well, never have I felt the failure of my method more than on the Aran Islands. To spend a few days in a place and try and represent it in film is fraught with difficulties. My film only captures the surface, but I sense there is something unique about the Aran Islands. And I also know a stranger in a big hat from Australia won't reveal these deeper secrets in just a few days. Maybe they do still practice ancient pagan celebrations on the island, as some suggest. Or maybe they just represent the true sense of tribe a small community in a harsh environment produces. I really don't know. But I do know, if you want to understand the Aran Islands, you need more time than just a couple of days.